my beautiful budding bakers on a glorious Sunday morning. Happy Mother's Day to all you amazing mothers out there. We're doing something very straightforward, but we're doing a little twist. We want a bit of bit, bit, a bit of bit. We want to bring a bit of colour to your lives. There's a rainbow, there's light at the end of the tunnel, lads, if you only hang on in there. Stay positive. What are we doing? Positively delicious rainbow cake push pops. Have a look at these beauties, kitty winks. All over the country, I want you dreaming of color. What you can do with a traditional Victoria sponge and we convert it into something fun, colorful, delicious, delectable, absolutely fun. Fun, fun, fun. We're all about fun, fun, fun this morning. So, first of all, happy birthday to you. Abby Swords, mwah, 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 mwah. Happy birthday today. I will mortify you on Facebook, give you loads of hugs, loads of birthday wishes, happy birthday. And also Gwen, Gwen Ford, Gwen Ford, sweet 16 on Saturday. Happy, happy, happy birthday, Gwen. So, with us we are going to do a traditional Victoria sponge, which we have done in the past. This is 12 months. Yesterday was our anniversary, but because it's a bake -a today, I decided we'd do something special, full of colour and rainbow, and we're doing an anniversary. Can you believe I've been doing this for a full 12 months? Sophie hasn't given up the will to live. She is with me today. Thank you, Sophie, for your year of contribution of holding my phone. I hope you can hear me all well. If there's any issue with sound, let me know. Although with my shouting this morning, I'm sure you can all hear me in China. So without further ado, we are starting with the simplest of ingredients. We have got 200 grams of soft butter in my beautiful Kenwood machine. We have 200 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams of self-raising flour, and I've got 220 grams, because some of you were asking just in relation to the eggs I use, I use large eggs and they're about 57 to 60 grams in weight. So there are four eggs, which roughly comes up to about 200, 220. So nearly even Stephen with our quantities. So in goes our butter. So we have our butter already in the mixer and we're gonna add our caster sugar. In goes our caster sugar. Bye, bye, bye. Now, while we're waiting for that to mix, this is what we're doing, it's a push pop. They come in three separate pieces. You have a stem, you have a container, and you have the lid to keep it all fresh. Now these are recyclable, but they're great because if you have them for kids, what's even cool, you can make this savoury. You can cut out bread, ham, cucumber, cheese, and you can stack them up and they can go into a lunchbox and you can wash them again and again and again. Adults, if you're listening, kids, block your ears. They're great for jelly shots. You can do vodka jelly shots in these fantastic containers. So I've heard, apparently they're really good jelly shots inside one of these containers. So you've got your butter and your sugar. Now I'm gonna turn it down just because the butter is sticking to my kibita. So I wanna make sure that, that butter is beaten, 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 beaten. Now just give it a few minutes. Now the tins I'm using are eight inch tins. Now a little tip when you're measuring a tin. Don't ever measure across the tin. Always measure, measure the size of your tin from the base. And you know, this is an eight inch round, but you'll find the circumference sometimes can it literally, literally be maybe a half inch out or even an inch. Always go by the base of your tin to measure the tin. So I have got two 8-inch sandwich tins. These are fantastic because I have bought so many at this stage. Rainbow cakes are so easy to do. You just need more tins. Six tins in total you will need for the rainbow. But we're starting with a very simple recipe. I don't want you freaking out on a Sunday. So we've got butter and sugar. Now. I've said many a time in relation to curdling with batter, I shake my flour in next. It prevents curdling. You get a gorgeous light sponge. 
It looks very similar to a cookie dough. So if you want to have a quick look there, so zoom in there if you can. All I'm doing is sprinkling in the flour. So you've your sugar and you've got your butter. And I'm sprinkling because I don't want it to look like a cocaine house with all the flour all over the workshop. Probably shouldn't have said that. Child friendly channel. But you know what I mean. Sprinkle it in slowly so you don't end up with a dust cloud of flour. Bang, 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 Clean as you go, clean as you go. These are amazing containers. Deals. Eight in a pack of 150. Superb. Now, in goes our plop eggs. One. Uno. Dos. Tres. Anna, if you're watching over in Spain, Anna was my beautiful Spanish student. Thank you so much, Anna, for staying with us for so long. And Anna did the first lives with me on Facebook. And our first lives were raspberry muffins. So that was on the 13th of March. And Anna kick-started, thank you so much, my Facebook. So again. Just give it a little boing, boing, boing. Now, what I didn't mention when I am doing my Victoria sponge, whoop, splodge, is I put in vanilla extract. On this occasion, I'm not putting in vanilla extract because I actually have vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar is very easy to make. You literally get two to three pods of vanilla pods. You stick them into your container of caster sugar and you leave it for about two to three days and you end up with the most beautiful, fragrant, scented caster sugar. And that's what I've used in this Victoria sponge. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put everything up on Facebook regarding recipe because when it comes to the uh, 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 <laughs> when it comes to the rainbow cake, the rainbow cake obviously you need color. Now, in order to get a vibrant color, avoid liquids. Liquids will alter the consistency of your batter, and it can change your sponge. So we've got our two tins, and the colors that I use. I paid a visit to Maria. Maria, hello from Brennan. Thank you so much for giving me the tour. And the colors I was using were a mix between the color splash that I got in Brennan's. And then I got the Pro Gel. And the Pro Gel I got in Bake World from Peter. So the Pro Gel, whoa. And the Lime Greens. So these colors are what I used to color the Madeira. Now, Parents out there, do not have a heart attack when you see this color because you are using less than a quarter of a teaspoon of this color. It's a very strong concentrated color. You do not need an awful lot. But look at the colors that you will get in relation to the reds, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the violet, violet. And those colors have been used with Pro Gel and Color Splash. So the secret to your rainbow cake is good, strong, vibrant, gel colors avoid liquid now the reason i am doing a delicious plain victoria sponge is because it's mother's day it's my favorite sponge to do and just like that i'm just eyeballing it but by all means if you want to get out a scales and make sure that you have it bang on knock your socks off you can get out the scales now when it comes to the colored Madeira, you can see how shallow, if you want to zoom in there and do a paddle, shallow the batter is. Just remember, this is going to be layered with jam and cream, or it could be lemon curd and Italian meringue. And all I'm doing is I'm just going all the way around the perimeter to make sure that the batter is evenly coated. Now, I do tend to leave a little dip in the center, and it's to prevent your sponge from doming. This particular recipe is great to level out your sponge. If you want a higher domed Victoria sponge, add a teaspoon of baking powder. So if you add a teaspoon of baking powder, even though you're using self-raising flour, you'll get a slight domed effect for your Victoria sponge. I've omitted the baking powder on this occasion because this cake is going to be layered. When you're doing a rainbow cake, there is no need for the baking powder because you do not need a domed cake you need them all relatively level so I have no color added at this stage 
okay? Because I've prepared ones earlier. I've done so much prepping this weekend for this schedule, you have no idea. So, color-wise, any of these colors will work in the batter because they're gel-based. Water, as I mentioned, will change the consistency of your batter. So, for each container, when you're using the rainbow batter, you will use 400, 350 to 400 grams of batter per container. You have six containers. The recipe is completely different regarding quantity. It's 650, 650, 650, and nine. 650 of butter, 650 of caster sugar, 650 of self-raising flour, and nine large eggs. That will give you this beautiful voluptuous batter. Each container, 400 approximately grams, 350 to 400 grams of batter, and you color it. And as you color it, you pour exactly the same as our Victoria sponge into the oven, 180, 20 minutes. Into the oven for 20 minutes. I will set my timer because I do not want it overcooked because Victoria sponge is beautiful. Now, prepared earlier. So if you can imagine, me in my mad kitchen, and I have literally filled whatever color. So it could have been, as you can see, these are gorgeous and sticky and they're sticking to the tray, but that's because they're delicious and sponge-like. So the tray I have used, I have colored all this red and I have got a cutter. So the sponge cutter, I have literally boink, 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 all the way around the sponge. And I've ended up with about 15 little round discs. These discs, are the secret to making our beautiful rainbow pops. So we don't need the color at the moment. And do not fret because any time you have a rainbow cake, you are left with cake crumb. And the cake crumb, I keep, I freeze for an occasion when I'm doing cake pops. So Sophie will zoom in there. These are the cake pops that I have used from the excess cake crumb. So there is no waste whatsoever in this recipe. Cake pops are used exactly from the crumb of this rainbow. So to show you how easy these rainbow uh, cutters are. So I've cut out, now you have six trays of different colors. This is not for the faint hearted. It is not difficult to do. Yes, it's time consuming. You might not see your kids for two and a half hours if they want to do this. So this could be a great job to keep your kids busy. So we have got red. I am cutting in half because what I don't want is too much height in my cake pop. So they are almost finger thickness. So I've got my reds, I've got my orange, yellow, green, blue. They've all been dyed with the Pro Gel. And these are our yummy, fresh sponge. These are so cool for kids' birthdays. So remember, obviously, during pandemic, no, because happy birthday. <gasps> oh, when you blow out all the candles on the cake. And we've got COVID everywhere. So unfortunately, we don't. But we do have push cake pops. And I will continue with the link that I've got these push pops. This is where you push and you chomp your way through each layer. And you have got, whoa, let's see if I've got balance skills. Whoa. You have got a layer of rainbow color with sprinkles on your push pop. And in it goes into the container. And down it goes. Now, as I said, for lunches even, this is cool for somebody's birthday, because again, you can wash these out, you can use them again and again, they're recyclable. You have a little cap, on goes the little cap, click, into a little stand, and we've got our push pops. So, in order for us to assemble them, as I mentioned earlier, you have got three pieces. You have got the container, you have got the stem, and you've got the little hat. So we start with our purple, and in it goes. And I've made some buttercream. Now, how many times I've made buttercream? I will put the link up still for the buttercream. But just like that, I am putting a tiny bit of buttercream. 
around the base. Now I will need to put on my glasses. Can you see that? If you'd like to zoom in. So we've got our purple followed by the next one we're going in is our blue. And as I'm putting it in, I'm pushing it down. Push, 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 push down. And then a little squirt of my buttercream. Again, it's perfect for kids because it's just enough cake. It's enough cake, honestly, for a cupcake. A cupcake, you will get three little rings and that's exactly what it is, a, little, a, a bite of a cupcake. So we've got our green and I have to keep thinking every time. We've got our yellow. Press it down again with your fingers. We've got orange. Now these are for consuming at home with my family. So if you're going to do this with a customer, you need to wear gloves because who doesn't really want to have your fingers touching all these? This is for consuming in my house because they don't last very long because they are devoured. And then I press down another little squeeze and you have got your last swirl of buttercream and I've got some sprinkles. And some sprinkles and it's as simple as that. So I'll move that to the side, do a bit of a Jenga, move things around so I can set it up and you can see, move that to there and in it goes. And we've got our push pop. So, oh, I have no push pops. What am I going to do? My life is terrible, I have no push pops. It's okay, I shall save the day. Don't worry if you do not have push pops. I will show you another technique. So, this time we have got these gorgeous little gold boards. Thank you, Maria. Now I did buy mine um, online from Amazon, but when I went shopping in Brennan's, they also have these in stock. These are fabulous little cake cards. So tiny bit of buttercream just to secure. And again, we do the same thing. So we've got a bit of purple, and then we've got our blue, le bleu, allez le bleu. And another bit of buttercream. We've got green. And another bit of buttercream yellow. And then we're on to orange. Now, as I said, this is a super duper special. Whoop. And then do the same thing on top with a bit of buttercream and our sprinkles. Da, 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 now, we don't want the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So what we do have, again, trusty Brennan's. So Brennan's, I will put the link on. Or Maria, if you're watching, by all means, click on the link, put up the link for Brennan's. This is acetate sheet. This is great because not only do I do it for, for um, chocolate desserts and things, but what's fab is that it also prevents the cake pop from drying out. You've got the push pop and it has its container. So it's already secure. It's already got its protective layer on the outside. But with your acetate, you can do exactly the same thing. And to measure a tiny bit of an overlap, all I'm doing is I'm cutting. I probably should have cut it before I wrapped it around. When you have more time, you can do exactly that. And then fit it in. And Back it into place. Make sure it's all covered because we don't want any dry cake. And just like that. Now you don't actually need sellotape because it is securing on itself, but I'm going to do this just because Murphy's Law, it will <laughs> start to shift and move. So we have got a little rainbow cake without the need for the push pop. Now the possibilities of changing colours and flavours are endless. So you could decide that you are doing a vanilla sponge with a caramel toffee layer, followed by chocolate ganache, followed by another vanilla sponge. You could decide that you're going to do your Victoria sponge and you're going to do different colours and you'll start from a rose pink and make it paler paler so you have an ombre style going on with your push pops. You can do absolutely anything your little heart desires. For kids, if they decide, I want to make my lunch in the morning, fantastic, get out your brown bread, your ham, your cheese, and you can do exactly that. 
you can create a layered sandwich perfect for tiny tots because sometimes it's the novelty it's the novelty and the fun that kids get ooh, 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 so excited and you'd have a lovely sweet treat or you'd actually have a lovely sandwich now as i mentioned we have got containers full of our crumbs now, i did tell you this is a super rainbow special this sunday so if we might lose the will to live suck it up buttercup <laughs> we'll be another five minutes so we have got ganache so again i'll put up the recipe the ganache is divine it is quite chocolate now on this occasion i am doing three to one what does three to one ratio mean 300 grams of your white chocolate to 100 grams of your cream boils the cream added created this delicious velvety white chocolate soup Sorry, Margot, if you're watching, I know you hate the word soup, but it's the only description I have when I'm making ganache. So this white chocolate ganache, I will put in about maybe two, three tablespoons, about two tablespoons will go in. And all I do is I mix, 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 mix. So anytime you're creating cake pops, try and use ganache. Buttercream will break your heart. Buttercream can come to room temp and even with your dipped melted chocolate can lose its stability and you'll end up with a very squishy cake pop and it won't have the form of your delicious ganache. With this ganache, I have used 300, as I mentioned, 300 grams of white Belgian chocolate, 100 grams, uh, grams of cream. That will do all your cake pops for the cake crumbs that are left over from the rainbow sponge. So you end up with this potty. So you've got a cake potty. And this is where get out all your colours. Colours of the rainbow somewhere. All the colours. Now, so if you have a big zoom in there, all I've done is I have added my ganache Each container so starting with a little bit of red I'm just going to do my red and it's lovely and squishy because there's just about two tablespoons of your white chocolate ganache will make these delicious cake pops now again as I said this is not for something where you decide you've just got an hour in the day this can take anything from three hours to do your cake your filling your cake pops your truffles but once you have a plan and once you've everything prepped it flies through and kids love this because it's very tactile it's almost like putty so you have play-doh and you have got cake balls now i'll put this to the side because we actually don't need to do loads of prep work i'm sorry we do need to do loads of prep work we don't need to do loads of cake pops because i prepared them earlier but it just speeds things up so that you get loads you get bang for your buck this sunday and that's a double whammy so we've got all these different colors now if i decide i'm going to half each ball so each ball basically is the size of a grape i'm gonna have fun with this because it's what molds you have at home anything from ice cube molds it doesn't matter so we have got our red our orange and i'm rolling into a sausage if you want to see that sophie now my hands are covered in cake crumb this is where be sure your fingers are clear of any dark cake crumb because it'll just appear on your blue, blue and indigo. Okay, now this is where if you don't have any moles, so all you do is you can flatten with your fingers and you have compressed a bit. So you have got your rainbow cut off. And with my trusty lollipop stick. Move this around this way. All I'm going to do is that with my knife, I'm just going to create a little hole and in goes a lollipop stick. So you don't have to have any moles. Squish, 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 and you leave that to set, right? So you have got 
the start of a lollipop. But what we have done is we've dipped this, once this is cold, it needs to go into the fridge. So you need about 30 minutes. Look at my hands watch, wash, 30 minutes, and it needs to firm up. Have a look, Sophie, over there while I wash my hands. And I shall pick up one of the cake pops I have done earlier. This is what you do on a weekend. Sure, what else would you do? You have to fill your day with rainbow delight and wonderfulness, ness, ness. So, look. So we have our prepared cake pop. We don't have any mold. We've dipped it in chocolate covered it in sprinkles and added a little bow. If you want to zoom in there, because I can show you the sprinkles I've used. So the sprinkles have come from another Irish company and they are from Audrey. Now I actually won these in a competition and that was online. And it just so happens that I was doing rainbow. These are rainbow, amazing sprinkles. They're absolutely gorgeous. Check out Audrey, stuffforcakes.com. She has loads of things from chocolate to ribbons to sprinkles. Absolutely amazing. And they make fantastic maracas. That's for you, Anna. Then, with more of our moulds, again, this is the last one. I've got my red. I've got my orange, I've got my yellow, I've got my green. Now I could be here all day with the amount of things you can do with cake pop molds and molds in general. And all I've done is I've put it into a silicone mold and I've put them all the way around. I have compressed them, chilled them overnight. Now they don't look great when they come out of the mold, but they are delicious because they're white chocolate cake crumb. And again, over here, we have created a cake pop donut. Do not be afraid when you're doing cake pops. <laughs> do not be afraid. Do you get do not be afraid? Whatever. So we have got our donuts. If you decide, lads, life's too short to stuff a donut, you just get your cake pops and you put them in a ball and you squish them together like so and you do a roll, 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 roll and you have got a giant cake pop like so and you dip that in chocolate so there's no mould required and again you now have a cake ball so a cake ball made with your white chocolate and sprinkles so today with our colourful class of chocolate sprinkles we have had our beautiful sprinkles from stuff for cakes i just use whatever molds i have to create unusual shapes you have got your nearly forgot ice cream mold and all i've done is i've layered up red orange yellow so you get your lining up of your and you push it in Cover up melted chocolate. I'll put stage by stage photographs up so you'll see. And these are fabulous because they pop out and you get the most beautiful ice cream pop. So this is a cake pop full, full of cake deliciousness. So that is me done. We have got mini molds. If you don't have a mold, you can make your own. Lollipop sticks are essential. Or if you don't have a push pop, you can do your DIY and have a look there, Sophie. We've got our acetate. If you have a push pop or if you decide that you're going to get them, I will put the link up on Amazon. We have got ice cream, cake cigars, rainbows, and not to mention, we have got a beautiful sponge in the oven baking away for Mother's Day because that is the basis and the basics of a Victoria sponge. Get colorful, get creative, use up all your scraps for cake pops, Lads, I'm exhausted. I need a bucket of coffee after that. Hope you enjoy today's Mother's Day. Deliciousness, cake pops and everything galore. There's light at the end of the tunnel, lads. See the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. We'll see you next Sunday.